Three tips for Roblox developers. Tip number one is the rule of three. This scene looks good at first glance. But now only changing these two items, we can get this scene right here off of using the rule of three. The rule of three is where if you use a part, you only use it in the same sets of three. For example, having these three and then these three looks way better than just this one and this one. If you have more than three and hit four, the second you hit four, everything looks way too overdone and way too overcrowded. If you only have two instead of having three, it just looks blank. It looks like there's nothing here. But then if we go back to the three, all this right here just looks so full. It doesn't look too overcrowded. It doesn't look like th there is any really blank areas. Number two, if you look at this right here, you know, it looks like a pretty good scene so far, you know. Looks like you've had a lot of stuff go through it. A lot of development's been done. Now just a couple lighting changes. We have two completely different scenes now. Just comparing before and after is just two completely different scenes. Just with a couple of tweaks of the lighting. The third and final tip is to actually read up on color theory when you're making maps. So as you can see right here, you can I'm pretty sure you can guess which one didn't use color theory. It's, it's the one on the right if you didn't know. So you can see you have this, you know, this beautiful piece right here, you know, with the green on brown, you know, straight color palette. Blue with, you know, uh, unsaturated blue, straight off color palette. And then you have pink on green, which is an absolute no-no in color theory. So this seems like common sense, like, you know, blue and white would go together. Maybe green and orange go together to some people, but some people actually would think, you know, oh, I'm making an alien area. Maybe I need to try pink and green. No, you don't want to do that. There's a website for finding color palettes that go with the exact color that you need. All you have to do is click right here on the first. All you got to do is click on the part that you want the color of. Click on the square. Copy the HTML code, control C. Now you go over to the website and this middle one, you double click on this, so that you highlight all of this, and you press Control and V, Enter. And now if you go to Complementary, underneath Color Harmony, boom, Color Palette. And all you have to do to insert these is Control C, then go back, and we can just do Control V right there. And then for the rest of this, since it's just two colors we're really using here, we can just darken it as we go down. And we just keep copying and pasting. And boom, comment, like, and subscribe.